Mopoid said that if S. Tall Edwards is evil to the core to implement such anti poor bleak officer salary adjustment. It takes someone with a hard and dark heart like F.S. Tall Edwards to assist this malicious lab grabberment to inflict such financial pain and anguish on struggling hard-working poor bleak officers. She said that the most deserving poor bleak officers like the drivers, messengers and junior clerks who form the bulk of the poor bleak service received nothing. The helper said but today Sunday, she wed Denise will go to a Catholic church to receive losty. What a tall wolf in sheep clothing. Ma Boyd said that there are poor bleak officers with over 25 years of service but received a few dollars. While well, cost of living has skyrocketed, she said those wicked laborites will try to use the salary adjustments for teachers and some others to justify this calculated mischief. But the adjustments were to bring these salaries and par with the subregion. Just how Sour Legs Meals is trying to bring herself and par with Mono Nanthan Sabin. By using her passport vending money to buy properties all over Posse de Graveyard. De Helper said, so Noxy Waldron Maltueve in America and let Mono Nanthan Sabin buy his family home. Mopoid said F.S. Tall Edwards is even more evil for her to aid it and abetted to lab a cabinet to receive almost 30% increase in that salary adjustments. She said that she wed Denise's evil was on steroids when she ensured no paper trail for this heartless and wicked 30% salary adjustments to Starboy of Stupidity and all the members of his purchased kindergarten cabinet. Just how in June 2022, F.S. Tall Edwards authorized and paid a salary double bubble to the members of the purchased cabinet and she refused to give the same salary double bubble to the members of the parliamentary opposition. De Helper said that Austri Langsell's double bubble got wasted in a young hairy bank at Picard. Mopoid said well dedicated poor bleak officers cannot get a penny adjustment for many years of dedicated service. Purchased kindergarten ministers, who came in less than a year ago, after the sham election, got $2,300. So purchased ministers like Rolling Roland, Defoe Defoe and others got $2,300 monthly salary adjustments. Just imagine what 30% salary adjustment did to Tomate Scarrett's already huge monthly salary. And there is no outrage by poor bleak officers. The helper said most poor bleak officers will still say that Laba is still the best choice. Mopoid said that the silence of the poor bleak service union on this malicious salary adjustment fiasco and even more malicious. She said this grave injustice has been committed against poor bleak officers. And doubting Thomas and the PSU failed miserably to say or do something about it. It seems like Tomate Scarrett has castrated the leadership of the PSU. So doubting Thomas sees nothing wrong with most poor bleak officers getting zero from the ministerial salary adjustments. And the overnight purchased ministers getting in excess of $2,300 per month. The helper said that poor bleak officers should force doubting Thomas and the PSU to stand up on their behalf. The helper said just how Anthony Hayden of MMC, Gerdup Devbath of CS Global and other CBI passport vendors are desperately trying to get international media to do damage control on the damaging OCCRP exposes about the Dominica passport vending program. Akelma, Tomate Scarrett Con Wave at Duvent Tout Pool at Wench. De Chef said that Asani Knights has been having some very uneasy political interactions for the past few weeks. When Asani made it clear in Massacre last week that he wants no one to beg him and he is not God. She said but on Friday night, Asani P. Wen Kui Hod Canefield. The helper said just how Sack Vid Good Living in Gwen Gel Brandon P. Wen Kui Hod Posse de Graveyard. De Chef said that after Asani Knights P. Wen Kui Laborite starting to fight with each other. She said that is the atmosphere the greed and pomposity of Asani Knights has created for futureless Laborites. The helper said that Asani Knights is like a toilet in a ghetto apartment. He doesn't know when shit is going to back up on him. Just Lil Willy Tony, he doesn't know calling Mick and Liar will show up at his doorstep. De Chef said that carpetbagger Vince is in the same predicament in Gwambe as Asani Knights. She said that on Thursday night, carpetbagger Vince deliberately stayed away from the gun discussion in Gwambe. He might use the excuse that he was overseas on state business, but Con Vince knows that he is no longer welcome in Gwambe. The helper said just how in 2009, Isidore, Embarrassador Martin and others ran carpetbagger Vince out of San Joe. De Chef said since Tumo Amur and Smiley Willie are no longer supporting him. The little black boy from Backstreet Street Senjo, Finny Bad and Gwen Bay. She said that is only to opportunist priest who is grasping at straws trying to keep Con Vince revelant in Gwen Bay. Simply because the opportunist priest and carpetbagger Vince were high school classmates at Senjo during the days of St. Joseph Campus. The helper said this is the same opportunist priest who straight had confessed to about the wickedness of Tomate Scarrett that hastened him to his grave. Ask Ma Abio. Ma Boyd said that she wants to know why Tomate Scarrett is all over looking for money for his failed geothermal project. When a few years ago he said that he had all the money to complete the project. De Chef said that she want thank the UWP's Women of Workers in collaboration with other groups for organizing the successful march on Friday that called for the firing of Spineless Lavile. Du Assistant Chef said that he is waiting to hear if P. Wish Opera Aka Katzen will make silly remarks about the march. The helper said that he is waiting here who first will knock out woman Beater Darren for using their daughters in Callahout.